Welcome back to the Woodland Realm. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again in the forest of Mirkwood and even some outskirts as well. In the previous episode, we did quite well against the forces of Gunnar, but we managed to finally give um, Dane's halls back to the dwarves again. They have been financing this entire campaign for us. The Anduin Vale is still dead, and in terms of money, how are things looking? Yeah, construction, we're really putting a lot of money into construction. Some money is getting into recruitment as well. We are not earning too much. Uh, so that's the issue at the moment. Eco, finances, income. Okay, we are attacking Beyond's Halls with Orthordir. We have the Mythori, the Wire, we have the Woodland Spearmen, Woodland Warriors. And I... Oh, it's Ulyron inside. I uh, Let's try and move in. If, it's, if, if they have towers in here, I'm not going to go in. If they do not have towers, though, we can probably take this one fairly easily. They have... Yeah, this guy can maybe do some damage. Uh, they have some wargs as well, some uh, orc maulers, but we have the more powerful units with us. We're going to win. As long as they don't have any towers, we're going to win this fight. But if they have towers, I'm going to withdraw. But let's begin this episode by trying to take uh, Beyond Souls. Ulyron, hopefully you will pay the ultimate price today. If you have towers, you will survive though. Let's go in. Okay, let's do this. And... I do believe that these are actual towers. Can I? Ah, no, we're not going to be able to form up over there. Yeah, we can only get into the settlement from here. I think that these are towers. I think so. Let's see. I don't think the ladders will work. Can we ram down the, the walls from another position? I do not know. If we can avoid this entrance, then I would really want to try and do that. But we need to take a look and see first. Okay, uh, stand over there. Melee forces, stand over there. Okay, start the battle. No. We cannot round down the gate. Can we go up with some ladders? Here. No, we cannot. We can only squeeze through here. Let's go forth with the ram and let's see what is going to happen here. It's, oh, it says building. They can put some forces on the walls here. Uh, it doesn't say tower. It's only saying building here. So let's see if it's actual towers or if it's only just buildings without damage dealing potential. You drop that. We cannot use that anyways. Uh, let's uh, move forwards with these guys. I'm not going to send in authority yet. I want to wait with him a while before we send him in. Taking shots from their archers. I don't think that these things work. Let's fast forward. I'm just going to lower the music a bit. It's a bit loud for me. There we go. Yeah, you're taking some shots from their archers. But I'm not hearing any towers. So I'm thinking we should go in here. We are going to go in. We are going to lose a few guys in this battle. Uh, there's no way around that, sadly. Because they have Camel Shadow Rangers, they're pretty solid archers. These are really great archers. They have Wargs, some Mirkwood Goblins, some Maulers. We do not have any archers in this army. Considering we are the Woodland Realm, it's kind of pathetic that we have an army without archers. And we kind of needed some archers here. I really would, would have liked to weaken these maulers. They can do some damage to us. We are hammering down the gate here. Taking some casualties on the Woodland Warriors. Warriors and Mythori Thawair go in first. Oh, the walks are going out from the settlement, are they? Yes, they are. Spears, get in there then. Get in there, Spears. You should be able to totally crush them easily. They're sending their goblins out as well. Okay. My Thor, get in. Get in there and smash everything in your path. Let's take a look if we can do some damage. They're sending out their host as well. Okay. Yeah, the wargs are getting totally beaten. Uh, we still have the Camel Shadow Rangers inside that is firing at me, doing some damage to us. 
try and get this base a bit closer to the wargs. The thing is, they have a Lydon in here. And he's a pretty solid commander, so I don't think they're gonna break until we kill him. So we're gonna have to take the fight here. They're constantly harassing me with their Camul Shadow Bows here. So we're in a bit of a tricky spot. And now they're moving them in, into melee. Well, that's great, I guess. Not the smartest thing to do. Dolguldur. These guys shouldn't fare too well in, in a melee scrap. Here comes the Maulers as well. Are we going to have a long battle outside of the walls? Yeah, they're sending everything out. Even though we do not have any archers, they're sending everything out. <laughs> they're making me surround them in battle here. Let's move forwards with um, Orthordir as well. Let's see if we can send him in. He can replenish up to 77, so let's try and use him. As long as we can keep him safe. We will use the Elven King's Gate Guard in battle. Yeah, heavy fighting raging on here. Oh, nice kill there, my on the Mauler. Just, just went into combat. Oh, another kill there on one of the Maulers. Oh, that one Mauler got a kill on one of my elves, though. Oh, this, this uh, my thought is in a dangerous position. He's getting kind of beaten here. Can he survive that? No, he's dead. The Mauler got him. The Mauler got him. 46% of the enemy force has been killed. Pop the ability. And form up like this. And then charge in. Make sure that the general is as far away as possible from the actual fighting. We're going to push in with this unit a tiny bit as well. Just to get them to the front lines. Since these guys will replenish. Try and get some of these elites to the front lines. They should be able to kill everything in their path fairly quickly. And press attack. Where is the general? He's over there. He's in a decent spot. It looks like he really wants to rush forwards. We do not want you to do that now. Just focus something. Focus the maulers or whatever. Don't just stay still. Don't rush. Here we have them. The Elven King's gate guard is in the front lines. Fighting it together. Doing everything they can to stop the Dolguldur forces from getting out from the settlement. And they should be killing these forces fairly quickly. Where is the Dolguldur commander? Where is Ulaidon? Where is he? We need to find him. And we need to kill him. It's quite tough to spot him. He might be surrounded somewhere. Where could he be? Am I blind? Oh, we have a castle on a Dolguldur over there. Oh, we kill him. I have no idea where he is. But there we go. We should be able to break them fairly quickly now. Where is my general? He's over there. He's fine. He's doing really good. And the maulers are wavering. How is it looking for these shadow rangers? They're getting slaughtered. 13 guys remaining. The maulers are just trying to do something weird here. They're running out from the fighting. They're shaken now. Dolguldur host. Three remaining. Their general has been killed. But these guys are still fighting. <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. Well, we got this. We have Beyond's Halls. Beyond's Halls is going to be mine. What a great day. Orc Mourners are finally broken. Camel Shadow Rangers should be broken soon. We're killing them slowly but surely. The host, two remaining, they are wavering. They should also break in a second or two. Oh, they have the Dolgler host. This one. Oh, there we go. He's broken. Kill him. Oh, we missed it. Kill this guy here. Sure, there we go, he's dead. Okay. Oh, they have this this guy still alive. Go after him, destroy him. Oh, he's kiting them fairly great here. Oh, there we go, he's dead now. Okay, good. Beyond's Halls is mine. Without archers as well. Elven King's Gate Guard, yeah, maybe I should have sent them in earlier. My Wire, 107 kills. Woodland Spearmen, 115 kills. But they took some losses. Same with the Woodland Warriors, 84 kills, 73 losses. They healed 22 guys, though. But there we go. Beyond's Hold is mine. We might need to strengthen this place up a tiny bit, though, because we are in a front line against Dolguldur here, and we only have this weak army. To defend it with. So we need to strengthen this place some way or another. Beyond's Halls 
is mine. It is mine and we can keep it because it's a bordering region. And it looks like it's happy with me. So let's just occupy the region. Let's take a look. We have the Karak. Building costs reduced by 5%. Global effect. Public order. Bonus due to law. We can get the diplomats here. Great Hall. Beyond in camp. It gives law bonus. Keep that for now. In. Land clearance. Blacksmith. Chicken farming. Homestead. That's a great thing. It gives some extra in income. Master Masons. Uh, since we do not have the culture at Framsburg or at uh, uh, Beyond's Halls, we should send in a spy in there. Uh, you. You're going to try and move into Framsburg. We can get a spy here as well. Let's get the spy over at Beyond's Halls. And repair this one to earn some extra cash. And begin by getting the artist studio here as well. There we go. It looks like Beyond's Hall is giving me some income as well, which is good. We need all the money that we can get. Try and get at least one tower. Yeah, that's the best thing we can go for at the moment. These guys will move into Beyond's Halls as well. And there are no orcish themed buildings here that we need to destroy. It's only Northman culture. Beyond and Camp sadly won't provide me with any forces. We're going to try and get some stables and barracks here as well. We need that. We need to get some free upkeep units here. We need to be able to train forces. The practice range would be really nice to get. To get some additional archers here. We desperately need archers. And uh, yeah, we have the Elder Council here. The Woodland Wardens. We are getting some Woodland Scouts over there. They need to go to the front lines. And over here we have a pretty decent army. Uh, melee heavy army though. A lot of melee in the in Thranduil's halls. Uh, we did have a diplomat over there. Uh, trying to go for Lothlorien. We want to try and start getting that alliance. We want to unify the realms eventually. As I've said. Uh, you. I think we should send you down to Beyond's halls. Send this archer down to Beyond's halls. We need some ranged units over there. Other than that, I think we are done with the turn. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We're getting buildings in every region still, and that's really good. Look at that, they have armies. We could potentially survive one attack. We still have him, he's such a powerhouse in melee. We're getting more reinforcements over there. And some extra archers as well. And over there, we cannot attack now. If Dale attacks Buralgir, I will help them win the battle. We don't need to grab Buralgia for ourselves. It's not terribly important that we take it for ourselves. But we will help them to make we will help Dale to win. To make sure that this territory is in friendly hands and not in any enemy's hands. Because we don't want them to border Thranduil Souls. We don't want them to attack here. I'm sick and tired of them attacking Thranduil's halls. We never again want them to threaten our capital. So there we go. Hopefully we can help Dale take it. Or if they don't attack, we will take it ourselves and attack it. Okay, let's end the turn. Leonhold is under siege by Dol Guldur. Let's see if Dol Guldur takes it from the rebels. And let's see if Dol Guldur try and take Beon's halls from me. Will they? take it. Let's see. Will they try and attack at least? They will not take it straight away, but will they attack me and lay siege to it? That's the question. They have some armies nearby, but they're quite tiny. I'm not sure that they have enough power to, to claim beyond souls just straight away. Oh, they did go for me, but with a really tiny army. This is our last and they are attacking. Okay. Dale. No, they're sallying forth. For some reason, they're selling forth against me. Most likely thinking that Dale wouldn't join. Three commanders, Thane, Halvard and Urdrix. Bringing in some Mathala Rangers, Longbows, even some Dwarves as well, Edibor Infantry. A lot of archers and rivermen in this army. Ballista, a lot of rams as well. Okay, let's take the fight. Let's uh, join causes with um, Dale 
and together we will destroy this Dol Guldur force. They have two units of ballistas though, I do not like that at all. Did you have any cavalry? You have some Dale cavalry. Hopefully you can take out the ballistas. Let's go in, let's take the fight. Fight to the end! Alrighty then, alrighty. You are going to be totally aggressive from the get-go. I want you to be totally going ham against the enemy. Archers, while they're moving out from the settlement, you can fire at will on them. And then, when they're getting a bit too close, we're going to try and kite back to the Dalian army. Uh, melee forces and javelins. You can start your journey straight away. Archers, you will stay behind though. And do some harassing shots. We need him to get to Golden Chevrons. Uh, Thranduil. He's only silver yet still, so he needs to get to Golden in experience to get that additional attack stat. Merkwood Bodyguard, I mean, that's a viable target to go for. Let's fire at the bodyguards, the Merkwood bodyguards then. They have some wargs. We need to make sure that we don't get stuck with those. Oh, they're bringing in a lot of the rams as well. <laughs> it's lovely to see. Lovely to see. And they have one of my favorite units in the entire game. I will always love them. I have loved this unit since I first saw them. The Athala Rangers. Badass unit. Such a badass unit. I love all of the Ranger Fort units in the game. There we go, we're weakening these Merkwood bodyguards a great deal. Let's see if we can get some bonus kills on the Wargs. If the Wargs try and go for me though, we need to be a bit careful here. Might need to kite back actually. Uh, you know what, let's rush for the Dalian force. Oh, they're going ham at me. No, they're, no, they're not, okay. Uh, take it easy now though. I don't like the position that Thranduil is in. He is going to be charged first if they charge him. So, uh, cut away. They're going ham. Spears protect the archers when, the, when they try to get back to safety, please. You will run together with these archers. They protect them. Okay, they're stopping. Go, go for a wall now then. Spears, stay close behind. Stay, stay close to the archers. Doing any damage? Looks like we're doing something. Two percent of the enemy force has been killed. This army is set to being aggressive. They're still holding the rams. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> they're moving with the rams, even though Dolgaldur is the the. Um, faction today that is selling out from the settlement. Okay, you know what? Just go over there and wait for them to move out entirely from the settlement instead. Yeah, by the looks of things, it's gonna take a while. They're a bit clunky, trying to move out from the settlement here. We did get some kills on them. Oh, these archers are all over there. Okay. Move together with the Dalian army. And we will fight together as one. Dale Cavalry, please go for their ballista. If you got the opportunity to do that. <laughs> Would really like you to do that. Athal Rangers, you're going a bit too aggressive here. You're going a bit too aggressive. Should we try and protect the Athal Rangers? Slow down the speed a bit again. Uh, let's uh, group you guys up just quickly like that. Go forwards a tiny bit. Thranduil and Archers go forwards together with Athala Rangers. Yeah, they're still not out yet. It's taking a long, long time for them to get out from the settlement. The ballista seems to be clonking out. They're moving now, though. They're getting some move on. Okay, slow down the speed again. We need to be sure that we're doing the right things. No idea where they're headed. We could have gotten some great shots from here if we stayed, but I didn't want to risk anything. 
with Thranduil. We don't want him to die. That would be painful, to say the least. Well, we're not going together with the Dalian army here. They're going to another location. We're going together with the Thala Rangers. You're not in range. The Thala Rangers should be in range soon. They have a long, long range. Let's take a look. Let's compare it with this one. 250 meters, 15 meters with the Arad Hirith. Athala Rangers, 240 meters. The Athala Rangers, man, their range is insane. They have an insane range. I think, yeah, you're in range. What is going on in this fight? Get a little bit closer. Try and get some shots off. Athala Rangers, feel free to fire. You are in range from this position. Where are they going? <laughs> Where are these forces going? They're the ones sailing forth against me. Are they going to try and clash over that? Or is Dale going to try and go for... If we just press attack on something, are we going to try and do something then? really want to activate Dale here and these Ath Athala Rangers. Start firing. Are we going to try and control the ram here? Is that what you're doing? No way. They're taking control over the ram. The Athala Rangers are going for the ram. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, that's not what he wanted to do. They are sailing forth against me. Don't go for the flipping ram. You already have ten rams. You don't need any more. Uh, Mirkwood Hunters are moving for me. Dale? Focus their armies. Do not try and go for the gate or something. Just attack them. And you? Drop the ram, please. <laughs> what are you doing? Dale hasn't been very helpful yet. They're not doing too, too well here. Where are their ballistas? They're still stuck inside. Dolgildur House. You know what? Throw your javelins at something. Orc Maulers. You can destroy this unit entirely. You are going to fight the hunters over there. They're close to you. Go for them. These Mirkwood Goblins are going to die quickly. We're wasting our javelins on some weak targets here, which is really not the best thing to do, but uh, I'm going to do it nonetheless. Something is firing back at me. It's the Mirkwood Hunters over there. Doing some damage. You are going to try and silence those hunters. Oh, they've, okay, they've done something to the Ballista. Let's go with you. Avari Spearman, try and stop these guys from doing anything. You're stopping these guys. Uh, you two, kite back, please. Kite back. We have something here. Wargs moving in out of nowhere. Okay, go into melee with them. Go into melee. Help the archers. Get in there. I shouldn't have sent in my spear there. Dale, if you want to aid me, now is the time to do so. It looks like you're fighting two units with your entire army over here. You're not helping very much, though. The, the Athala Rain. Oh, they're beginning to fire now. That's good to see. Finally doing something useful. I was looking here. The Avari Spearmen are doing well against the Mirkwood Goblins. Thranduil, where are you? You're over there. Looking ready. The Wog Marauders are getting kind of destroyed here. These guys are wavering. Spears move in and help with the Wog Marauders. Oh, they're broken, actually. Okay. Let's try and get as many kills as you can on these Wogs, please. Archers fire against those guys again. You actually try and tie them up into melee. You flank the um, Mirkwood Goblins over there. Yeah, they're really focusing on Thranduil here. But he is such a tank, so... I don't think they're going to be able to do too much against him. You, you, yeah, silence those guys. You silence those. Thranduil now has golden chevrons. It's good to see. Dale, go full aggressive mode. Kill everything in your path, please. Just go for them. That's what we want you to do.
These guys are not yet broken, even though they're completely surrounded by my elves. Look at that. They're just casually walking with their cab on this battlefield. Can you please guide back a bit? I don't want you to take any more fire. Dolgaldur's scouts are moving close into to Thranduil. Are these guys being sent into melee? Yes, they are. Thranduil, you can now get back into the same position again and start firing again. You can fight the hunters over there, whatever. Yeah, we're doing the heavy lifting here. We are definitely doing the heavy lifting. That's what it feels like, at least. They're just walking. Come on, Dale. It's time to do something. It's time to try. And aid us, at least. Let's see, the Daling cavalry is moving into the Mirkwood Hunters. Are they going to help in melee, or are they just going to walk by them? No, it looks like they're actually fighting them, which is better than nothing. At least. They're moving with one ram to the entrance, I guess. Looks like it. Get over there, Thranduil. Fire at the hunters over there. You can maybe go into melee instead. Just finish off the last remaining units here. Go into melee. Bring forth your mighty axes and go into melee. Break these hunters. Yeah, they still have their ballistas. Yeah, they still have the square. I'm just going to let the Dale open the gate and deal with the rest of their forces. See, I'm not going to stop them. They can push into the settlement. We have done enough this fight. We have done it enough. We have done the heavy lifting. Let's fast forward. Let deal, Dale deal with the remaining forces. What do we have here? Mirkwood goblins. Chasing after me. Dale, we are going to try and help. No. Mirkwood bodyguards over there. Let's try and go for them. How, these guys are still alive. <laughs> and here comes some flipping wargs back again. Dale... Just leave me to my doom. Daily Longbowman, at least they soaked up the charge. There's at least something. Some kind of aid, at least. Yeah, just, just get the spears over here, just to protect Thranduil from potential warg charges. Let's see if Thranduil can assassinate their general here with archer fire. Yeah, we should be able to kill him soon. Yes, destroy these Warg Marauders. Yeah, we're not breaking them. The Wargs are still not broken. Oh, it looks like they are actually firing at the General as well. Where are you going? Where are you going, Wargs? Oh, they're broken now. Good. Uh, these guys are almost broken. Let's try and chase after them. Just break them. Please go for the ga gate, Dale. Please go for the gate. <laughs> You're firing at the goblins over there. They're going after the ballista crew. Oh, they're broken now. Good. Let them get back. And Thranduil, while they're returning, you can fire at them. Try and get some more experience. Now, Dale, you are going to do the rest of the battle. I'm not going to send my units into the fight anymore. Yeah, there we go. They've opened the gate. Now send everything in, Dale, and finish the job. You're still not doing anything. Come on, go for the ballista. Focus this ballista, Dale. Go for this unit. We're sending in some North militia, at least. Better than nothing. But there's still a lot of units outside. What do we have here? Oh, Mirkwood Goblins. Is this why? They haven't retreated yet. Yeah, they're going after it with their cav. And they're firing at it with... Uh, everything they have. Okay, don't go into melee then. There we go. They're done. And now they're sending everything in. Okay, good. They're fighting against the Ballista crew on the square now. The Northman Militia is winning the fight against the Ballista crew. 
Dolguldur doesn't seem to have anything else remaining but their ballista forces. So, yeah, battle is over. I'm a bit saddened by the effort that Dale put into this fight, though. But at least they were here. This is they were here, at least. Victory. Yeah. As you can see, we kind of did the heavy lifting in this fight. We did. We lost 73 guys. We killed 1,300 almost, and Dale only killed 557. I did 399 kills. Everything got a lot of kills this day. So my elves really performed. Can't quite say the same <laughs> with the Dalian army though. But here we go. Bur Algia is likely going to be mine since the Dolgudu force attacked me and not Dale. Well, it looks like it became my settlement. And to be fair... I'm not sure if it's worth it to keep this one. We do get access to a port, though. Um, sadly, we're going to have to destroy a lot of buildings. Occupy the settlement. Look at that. It's earning me quite the wealth. This is a wealthy settlement. And at the moment, Dale is protecting me. But we kind of want them to, to get involved against Dol Guldur in this area. Because if they don't get involved, Dolguldur will focus everything they've got on me. Erudraithon. Yes. I'll take you. 16 years old as well. Let's take him in. New mission, Leod Holt. Okay. Yeah, they didn't take it. They didn't take it. Yeah, I mean, it's a worthy settlement in terms of income, but I think the best thing might be to give it away to Dale here. It's a bordering territory. We could try and keep it, but then again, this army is not that strong. I don't want to risk Thranduil's life here. I don't. Um, we did get the spy here, so the culture, yeah, it's already booming. How about Framsburg? We will send this spy into Framsburg to boost the culture here. Get it to grow as quickly as possible. Homestead has been repaired. Faction announcements. Agent recruited. War declared. Edit Lewin and Angmar are at war with each other. That's a great thing. That's taken a long time for them to fight each other. Uh, two units of javelins and some archers. That's everything they're sending our way today. Sadly, we do not have any archers, so if we go for them, we will actually take some losses, most likely, if we go in there from their javelins. Uh, do I have a diplomat nearby? I do. He's over there. I am going to give it this to Dale. I will. And I will destroy every single building as well, because we have to do that. Yes, it hurts, but we have to do it. Even though Dale can use these buildings, <laughs> we still need to do this. I mean, they still have an access... Oh, sorry for this disgusting sound. I hate the sound of destroying buildings, but there we go, we're done with it. Uh, we have some cash in the bank again. Uh, they at least get the roads and a port, so we can actually get a ship as well. Uh, give it to Dale. Your orders. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. They're bankrupt. They won't, won't be able to pay me anything. Give it as a, a gift. Uh, we can get map information in return. Make the offer. How could an honor and a there we go. We now have vision on Dale's borders. They have taken... Uh, Burkaupis, that's not, nothing new. But they have this region and they, that should make... Make absolute sure that they're going to get their asses involved. They have two armies close by to Buralgia. Hopefully they will send them in to protect this area. Thranduil, I want you to return home now. And get an army back to strength so that you can be useful in here. Somewhere around this area. Yes, Erebor is also moving in some forces to 
Dane's halls, and by the thing looks of things, they, oh, they have, yeah. Gwendabad is sending an army over. Uh, hopefully this army can get in there before this army attacks them. I certainly hope so. We're going to take a look and scout this area. I really want to see if they can keep this one. Okay. Wait, wait, who would you spawn over there? I guess that's flipping brilliant. Because you can actually keep the peace here. It's really good that he spawned over at Framsburg. Uh, we do need some units here soon though. Uh, because... We, we're going to get the culture growing quickly with the spy. Practice range, barracks and stables is something we have to try and get here as soon as the culture is allowing us to recruit forces. And we need to remember to try and keep our units as free upkeep whenever we can. Because if we don't, we're going to lose some money. We will. We are getting the archer range here though. That's going to give us the woodland sentinels. And those guys are really good. We can also get the guard barracks here. Forest stables, which is going to give me the Arthirochon. Missile attack of 8, chance of 5, 14 defense, 8 attack. This is a good horse archer, really good horse archer. Quite expensive, but they're really powerful. Missile attack of 8, that's good. That's really good. Diplomats, let's continue with your journey. We have the son and the father and the son in the same army here, actually. I'm just going to yes. see if we can scout it quickly. Without question. Can't quite see everything in this army, but Denethor and Boromir are fighting together. They're holding Mordor at bay over at Kerandros. Hurin also has an army over there. Uh, we have another army here. And pretty weak. They have Wardens of the White Tower, though, guarding Kerandros. Okay, Gondor seems to be surviving. Impossible. That's good. Yes. Keep moving for Lothlorien. We want the alliance to start. Should we attack, maybe? Cav or archers would have been nice here. Can we get any mercenaries anywhere? No mercenaries. Should we attack now or should we wait for everyone to... Yeah, just wait, wait one more turn. Wait one more turn before we sell out. We're gathering some more forces here. They might stop attacking me because they might be afraid of these additional forces that we're bringing in here. So just wait one more turn before we sell out. Wait for the archers to get into range. Legolas, you could honestly try and put some pressure on uh, the snow orcs here. By laying siege to Aelstone. The thing is, if we take this region and claim it, the last stand stack might spawn. And if that stack spawns, we might need to to go back from Aelstone. I kind of want to draw the stack out though, so to be done with the stack. What my plan is with the stack is to draw it out. Make it attack Legolas, take the fight with Legolas, try and kite that army around with the archers and, and then withdraw back to Framsburg. This is a castle. Try and withdraw with Legolas after we've killed some of their forces. Withdraw to Framsburg and hope that they attack Framsburg and then do a sally forth with Legolas, try and weaken them even more. And then when they actually attack me, we should have enough to stop them. But Legolas, you are going to put some pressure on them here. Besiege Eelstone. I don't think they have too many forces left anyways. And this should also help Erebor be a bit safer. Because then Gundabad is going to prioritize sending their armies to try and protect Eelstone instead of going offensively at Dane's Halls. Alrighty then. Let's end the turn again. Let's do it. Kingdom of Rohan. No, you won't be able to talk to me because we're under siege. They're doing their weird kind of animation there. Yeah, just draw the doom stack out. Defeat Gundabad. And once we've done that, we can then focus our full military might in the south. Against Dol Guldur instead. 
Let's see. Oh, they sent in another army. Maybe I should have sallied out. Yeah, that's a battle we won't be able to win. Withdraw. Okay, there we go. They're still at they're still attacking me though. Okay. Let's see if we might be able to do the night attack. The goblins of Moria are also moving in. Captain Ogthak, are we boarding them now? Are they gonna try and stop us as well? Beyond's halls might be a painful settlement to hold. Skilia Thunder attack. The one ring has been located over at Umba, that's quite the distance. Rackerberg Public Fountains. We can only get the leather tanning and get that then. Yeah, we're close to upgrading this region. Oh, they're still going for Dane's Halls. Captain Fruhar, please get into Dane's Halls. Protect this place. Protect it. You're going for the leather tanner. And Framsburg just finished the Builder's Hall. Uh, we are actually bordering the goblins here as well. So, Captain Laglur, you could go for me here. Is there any types of mercenaries we can get? We can get mercenaries. We can get Beyonding Axemen and Cell Swords. Get them both. Get back to Framsburg. That's going to help us a bit. And in terms of buildings, 10% culture now. That's good. We're growing quickly. We can get the mines here. Go for the practice range. We will try and scout this out though every time to see if we can get up to 33% um, culture before this one is finished. If we haven't, we can start going for some turns on the barracks while we wait for us to get to 33% culture. But go for the practice range for now. And after we've gotten the practice range, barracks, stables, go for the master builders and then purely economical buildings. The roads, farms, mines, port as well would be nice to upgrade. Some additional forces there and Erin Dolan more woodland scouts. We can get the Mythor here as well. Get them again. Get them again. Okay, well, we're definitely going to need everyone to get inside of Beyond's Halls. We need to sell it forth now before it's too late. Oh, we cannot do the night attack. We cannot do the night attack. Okay, maybe then we should wait for them to go attack me instead. I want you to stand as close as you can. Stand over there. Stand there. I want you to support this fight. Hopefully this is the armor that will attack us. And if they do, these guys will support us. We can rush them in to be on souls before they strike us, hopefully. And help us in this defense. I should have sallied forth the first time I had the chance. But we have these reinforcements here. I think we are going to be fine. Uh, you are no longer free upkeep. The roads will be done in two turns though. That's going to help us a great deal. Keep moving. Move for the homelands. Go into the fort while we wait for his army to be ready. It's going to be such a costly army though. We can get more woodland scouts. Uh, keep them there. We want to train the forces that we have here instead. Well, we did lose the seven battalion strong force. So, we, yeah, we can actually recruit them. Recruit these woodland scouts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if this arm attacks me, we should be fine because we have the axemen and the cell swords. It cost me quite a fortune, though. In upkeep. We could go in. They only have three units. Should we wait a while though before we move in? Should we go in straight from the get go here? I don't want to defend Eolstone against a Doomstack. I fear that we might need to move away from the settlement as soon as we've taken it. Draw out the Doomstack, try and weaken it. With the Leoglas. 
Ah, uh, you know what, let's go in and take this one. Let's do it, let's be done with this settlement, and let's draw out the Doomstack, the Gundabad Doomstack, let's go in. It's a bit of fog on the map, I want to wait, I want to remove the fog if we can. Is it possible? Yes, there we go, a clear view. And this is an orcish town, so they don't have any towers to speak of, and what do we have? We, we have a lot of ranged units in this army. So let's just pepper them down with every, everything we've got here. Uh, yeah, take No, you don't need to control the ram. Let's, the spears can control the ram. Javelins, stay there. Horse archers, you can also fire at the enemy. Start the battle and let's destroy these poor, poor souls with archer fire. Javelins, I want you to get as close as you can. Try and throw some things at them as well. Horse archers, get closer, get into range. Oh, this is going to hurt them so much. Oh, they have scouts as well. They have archers of them themselves. But they're moving back. They're moving back, okay. Get into position. Javelins, I want you to throw at their general if you can. Horse archers, focus the mountain guard as well. You're in range. Focus the mountain guard, kill their general. You, mountain god focus, please. There we go. <laughs> oh, you poor poor souls. These guys are actually firing back at my javelins. These guys will retreat back as soon as they're done with their with their spear throwing. Oh, we're melting them. We're melting them. Leoglas has soloed the entire Gundabad faction on his own, almost, in this campaign. It's just a powerhouse of a guy. Hinedaur is maybe a bit too overpowered. To be honest. They can just crush armies on their own. Javelins. You are done. Get out of there. You are soon done as well. Get out. You can fire the raiders as well. Mountain guard. Seven remaining. Let's see if we can assassinate the general here with archer fire. He is already bloodied up. Horse archers. You can focus the raiders. Yeah, he's gonna die soon. He is going to die soon, this guy. He's not gonna survive for too long. With the pure archer advantage that we have. We're missing some shots though, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna fall soon. Yeah, there we go. Leo Glass is firing at him. He is still alive though. He's taking the shots as a like a true boss here. How's it going with your javelins, guys? <laughs> How can he still be alive? For sure he should die soon. You know what? Get out. Just just get out of there. The enemy good time. There we go, he's dead. The enemy Archers, dead. switch focus. Focus these snow -Oak scouts now. All of you. Leoglas is already firing on these uh, Snow Oak Scouts, doing massive damage to them. And everyone else is joining in. Keep the party going. Why stop now? Because it's not over yet. Continue. Yeah, there we go, they're almost done for. They're trying to fire back, they have one guy remaining. Let's finish him off. There we go. And let us finish these remaining raiders as well. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Just two more guys, one more guy, it's only the flag carrier. Get rid of this orc. There we go. This is a clear victory. Well, we didn't have to lose 31 guys here, but we did. We still won. Nazrolg is dead. Let's take a look at the kills. Legal has got the most kills as always. No surprises there. This place is mine, but I think we might need to withdraw straight away. 
honestly. There we go. Eol Stone is mine. For a while at least. Oh, they have the mining network in there. Sack the settlement for the money. And luckily for us, we won't be able to destroy this building. I'm quite happy about that, to be honest. Uh, everything else, destroy. Grog hut, get rid of it. Rations hut, camp guard, butchery. Get rid of it all. And let's not get any building here yet. Try and get one tower. We will need that one. Stay here for one turn. I want to see if the Doomstack spawns now. I think it should. Can we get a spy somewhere? Tarfilin agent lim limit reached. We need another uh, one of these. The, the vineyard. In order to get another spy. Uh, but as soon as we're up to 33% culture with Framsburg, we could get the spy out from here and start scouting in this area again. Diplomat. Yes, my lord. Go. For the Golan Forest. Go I for Lothlorien with tomorrow. speed. Get the alliance started. I really hope that uh, these guys won't join in because they have the warg pack. And warg packs. I'm not a fan of fighting goblins. The warg packs, they are a big issue. Send a turn again. Rohan, once again, you want to do something. Dolgledur, I would very much like if you attack me now at Beyond's Halt. So that we can get rid of your armies and get everyone inside and guard Beyond's Halls with everything we've got there. Beyond's Halls is a great settlement. And we need to try and keep it with everything we've got. Hopefully they're just going to attack me with the things they have there and nothing else. Yeah, there we go. Will my army reinforce though? Hope they are. Yes, they are. Okay, good. These guys are reinforcing. Well, they have the numbers advantage. This is only Captain Led Army, though, which is always good. Um, this army, though, it's also a Captain Led Army, but they have some Slayers, Uruks, Spears. These are, they're getting some better quality units now. They are. And some additional archers as well. Well, this might be trickier than it looks like. Because do you remember the Battle of Thranduil's Halls there, when we almost got completely overrun? The same thing might happen here, because they have so many units. So many more f f units to send in. That's the scary thing, but uh, none we have to go in. We have to go in. I don't want to lose our Thorder here. Let's go in and see what we can do. Put an end to this evil and halt this turn of events. All right. These towers won't fire at the enemy, so we won't be able to use those. And uh, But the thing is, we also need to make sure that these guys don't move into the settlement and start throwing their javelins at me. We want to stop them instantly. We, I think we might want to fight this first army over here, and then the next army we might want to fight inside of the settlement. But the first army, I really would like to try and take it down at the gate, straight away. We don't want them to give them any space to throw their javelins or something like that. Get them killed straight from the get-go. That's the plan, at least. Guard mode, stand over there somewhere. You're gonna fight in the center. I want you to form up like that. Like this. And then charge in there. Start the battle. Reinforcements are spawning behind the, the, the reinforcing army. Okay, and that's not good. Archers, I want you to run from the get-go. I want you to run into the settlement straight away. It's a bit risky, but take a long way around. Just run, 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 run. Try and get into the settlement as quickly as you can. You are going to walk. We need you to have stamina remaining when we want to fight these guys later. So walk, archers can run. Dolgildur scouts are moving in. Dolgudur archers are gonna try and harass me, I guess. 
you're in now as well. Walk. Walk to this area. Take the long way around here. Yeah. Avoid this army. They're going after me though. I don't like this. I don't like this. They're going after me with their archers. We should be able to outrun them though. What do we have here? The Slayers. The thing is, they have archers of their own. They have these guys. These guys, they have more ranged forces than we do in this army, so we don't want to take the ranged fight with them either, because they will win that fight against this army. You can run as well. Run. The enemy are battering down the gates. You're not in range for the Slayers. We could go for some shots on the Slayers, because that's a worthwhile target to fight. Or fire at with archers. Since they're armor-piercing. Just keep running, guys. We don't want to get caught here. Dolglur archers. Uh, some infantry. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Archers, you should be safe, though. You have the speed. You're already moving away from this army. It's This might be good, because these are orcs. They're running. They are going to be easily tired. My guys will stay fresh for a long time. These are elves with incredibly high stamina. Run, keep guiding them. Uh, Dolgular archers, they're gonna get some shots off. Keep running, run, 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 run. Yeah, they're gonna get some harassing shots on my archers here, sadly. Here we go, here comes the scouts. Perfect, they're not throwing the javelins at us. This is perfect, exactly what we wanted. Let them get inside. They're sending in their archers as well into melee. Perfect. Okay, they're getting into melee fighting with me here. Going with everything now. Completely surround them. Get them killed. Oh, these guys are a bit too close to these archers. I mean, I guess we could try and charge these archers. Try, just get, ki get them killed here outside. We could try. We could try quickly get them killed with these melee forces. You're still going to rush for this entrance here. Or Thordir, you're standing in the back. That's good. These scouts are getting totally crushed in melee. Here comes the archers as well. That's good. Send them in. Spears go in. You are going to flank them from the other side here. Yeah, they're firing at me. They're going to get one or two kills on me. Flank them, surround them completely, and utterly crush these uh, Dolgulur archers before they run away, please. Yeah, there we go. We're surrounding them. Just catch them. There we go. Oh, we didn't get the surround. Yeah, they're running away. We have catch them, but uh, they're still running. Okay. Okay, ignore them. Go for this area. Okay, what do we have here? Dolgulur archers are ignoring this area and going after me over there. I don't like that, that they're doing this. I don't like that they're doing this at all. And they're firing at me now. Getting some solid damage to me. These guys are not firing at me. Just try and cut away from them. Get into the settlement. That's all I want. Get into the settlement. Yeah. They're getting some good shots off against me here. It's not good. They're chasing me with their archers. Oh, they're gonna... F okay, you know what? Go for, go for a charge. So, no, this is not good. This is not good. They're getting some good shots off here. Go into melee with them. Wait for these guys to arrive. And we will try and surround them and crush them. Oh, look at that. Look at the damage they've done there. And they're getting one more volley off as well. Just get in there. These guys will soon flank them. Yeah, these guys are going in now. That's good. Let's hope that we can get rid of them. Can you please form up again accordingly? Or Thordir stand like that again? Yeah, at least they're not firing at me. Here comes the Axis. Get in there, surround these guys completely and crush them. Break them. But we do have the archers. They're also following me. These guys are still not doing anything, though, so you're not... Ugh. Are they going to try and run away again if we go after them? I think they might. This turned into a quite a shitty battle. <laughs> but I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing fine. We have 
killed the first army completely almost, so that's good at least. Here comes the scouts, we're just surrounding them again. They should fall fairly quickly. We're completely surrounding these archers, they're actually shaken. Spears, I want you to get inside as well. And surround them even more. Just get them killed, get them to break. They're wavering now, that's good. These guys are steady. We've killed the general. Was this? No, this is the general unit, I think. This one here has to be. Yeah, they're shaking. Spears get in. Are they throwing their... Yeah, they're throwing their things. Come on, get in there. Don't let them throw their things. Yeah, these guys are broken. Okay, good. Get back now. Get into the settlement. Yeah, look at that. They're throwing their things. Doing quite a lot of damage to me. At least we will be able to surround them soon. Oh, but here comes the next. Dolter Scouts. They're not allowing me to enter the, the, the settlement. It's not going to happen. What is going on here? Go back quickly before the next units come. Okay, stand over here and fire at the marchers. I guess that's what we're gonna do here. Kite back, kite back. You fire at the Uruks over there. Take one of the flanks here. And you will take another flank there. Now oh, these guys are just moving in. Take the fight against them then. Yeah, that's good. They're moving in now. Good. Flank them again, then. Yeah, this is good. Precisely what we wanted. Pop the ability as well. Get in. Surround them. You're firing at the Mirkwood Uruks. That's good. That's a great target to fire at. You're preparing to move in. Surround the scouts. Try and break them as well. Here comes the Murkwood Uruks. Are they moving out from the settlement again now? Going for my infantry outside? It looks like it. Uh, what do we have here? Murkwood Hunters. Uh, these guys are broken. Murkwood Uruks are not doing anything. Murkwood Hunters. Uh, let's uh, surround this unit as well with the melee forces outside. Spears, go for them quickly. Axes, you'll flank and attack them from the side or something. These guys are not doing anything, just fire at them. Should be able to do some great work against them. Do not follow. Stay on the square. Protect the settlement. Uh, well, at least one unit is moving. The Slayers. These guys are still not doing anything. Yeah, you're in a perfect position now to fire at the Mirkwood Uruks. Just weaken them. Weaken them as much as you can. And flank these Hunters. They're still firing at me. Even though we have them locked in combat. But this is something that should really hurt them. The fact that we're flanking them like this. We should really get a lot of kills on them here. They are shaking now. That's good. That's a great start. Well, we're firing on their fronts here. They're guarding the entrance. These Mirkwood Urks are guarding the entrance. Stopping me from getting inside with these guys. These guys are no more. That's good. Save some of your ammunition. Fire at the Slayers instead, because those guys do not have any shields. They're armor piercing as well. Try and weaken them as much as you can with Archer Fire. How much armor do they have? Eight armor, okay. Try and use the remaining shots against the Slayers. This is a valuable target for them. High damage dealing target. That we want to get rid of. 
We have killed 46% in total of the enemy force. Uh, they still have these guys. These guys still not moving. And these guys are not moving yet either. Do they have anything on this side? Nothing on this side. It's only the slayers that are moving in. And we're weakening them quite a bit here. They're quite tough though. They have 8 armor. They're, they're gonna survive a bit against my archers here. Get closer if you can. Hit every single shot. Yeah, the slayers, we definitely want to utterly surround them. Spears, take the first charge from the... It, the initial charge will be taken on the spears. And the Mythor and the general will try and flank the slayers. Oh, they're going for me, they're going for me. You guys, try and squeeze your way in now. If these guys are chasing my archers, these guys will try and get inside of the settlement. Archers, try and get into combat with them. Prepare to flank this unit. Just get into combat with them, Space. There we go. You have engaged them. My Thor, flank from this side. Axis, you can flank from here. And Orthority. Okay, wait, 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 wait. They're going back again. They're going back. <laughs> wait for them, wait for them. Orthority, don't go in yet. You will go in, and you will go in, though. Okay, they're moving into the settlement with their Uruks now. Here comes the Woodland Warriors, and here comes the Mythor charging the Slayers in the back. Uh, you form up like that quickly. You walk in. Oh, they're sending them in here, okay. Form like this. Protect Orthordir at all times. And now... Send in Orthordir. You can fire at these guys, the their archers that are approaching. Oh, we've killed the other general, that's good. We're killing their generals. Here comes Orthordir with his mighty charge. The Elven King's Gate Guard. Uruk's Slayers are actually broken. These guys might break from this charge as well. Here comes the remaining forces. Block the entrance. Kill every single survivor here if we can. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. They're moving straight through my units here. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can kill them all. You're in range for the Dolgulder archers. Weaken them, please. Only half the enemy force remains. There we go. I think we've killed everything. Melee forces, you can now move forwards. Get get out from the settlements. This battle is won. Dolgulder host and Dolgulder archers. That's the only thing they've ha they're having left. Get in there. You guys get in, and you two will try and flank. And then the battle is over. It was a bit easier than I thought. Honestly. Yeah, we're about to engage them here. Yeah, yeah we're going for the host and we're going for the archers. You flank around. Authority, you can help stop them here. You stop firing. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Merc with goblins are joining the mix as well. Well, we're stopping them totally here. They're just trying to squeeze through here. They're shaking. We're getting a lot of kills on them. But they're still pushing through. It's not going to help them though. We should be able to break them fairly soon. These guys are wavering. These guys are now broken. Let's see if we can break the other units. Keep fighting them. Just break them. Oh, they, they, they're still firing at my archers. I cannot believe that they can do this. It's quite frustrating. These guys are broken. Now kill the archers, please. Go after them, everyone. There we go. Finally. End the battle. Oh, quite the weird fight, but we did it. Did turn out quite well for us. Let's take a look at the kills. 
Woodland Warriors, 210 kills. Eleven Kings Gate got 120, five losses only. They're so goddamn great in the aggressive nature. But they have such a high attack stat, the Elven King's Gate God. Um, Woodland Warriors 194, Mind the Wired 167, so everyone performs scouts, 200 kills as well. Great work, great work here. Beyond Souls is safe again. Execute all of them. Please leave me alone for one turn, thank you. Goblins, will you attack me now? Yes, they are at Framsburg. <laughs> okay, the wars with the goblins have started now as well. So we have a new enemy and they are actually besieging Aelstone as well. With Captain Jagrad and they're sending even more armies. Well, Framsburg should be fine, definitely, against the goblins. We have two units there. The Snow Stars, there we go. Earlstone Bladesmith's Guild. You know what? Let's take that. Why not? You. Get into Beyond Souls, please. Culture wise, we are at 27%. Good. Practice range, barracks, stables. Those are the things we want to go after the artist studio is done. Thranduil's Halls. Woodland Sentinels. Yes, please. Such a great archer. Get them. Really powerful. And over here. Valiant Council Hall is going to give me the elite barracks and rangers. I want to go for the guard barracks first, though. And then we're going to go for the Valiant Council Hall here. Emin Nufuin Communal Farming. Maybe it's time to go for something military here as well. Culture-wise, we're really fine. 79%. Go for the practice range there. Yeah, we have a quite intact army here. We have more reserves that we can send over. The Elder Council, for example, could go there eventually, but... This is one of the front lines now against Dol Guldu. Since this is Dalian territory now, they should only be able to attack me at Beyond's Halls or Erin Dolan. So we might need to keep these guys here. Thranduil. Return home to Thranduil's Halls. Retrain the army and prepare to move it somewhere where you're needed. Over here. They have three Snaga units and two wargs. We have a castle here. This is a flipping castle. We have cell swords, Bionic Axemen, and the commander. Let them attack us. We should be fine. No problems there. They're attacking me over here, though. That's a bit weird. I'm gonna stick you. Just gonna take a quick little look at this army. One archer, two archers, and everything else is melee. We could definitely sally forth from this battle and just destroy them quickly. We might start the next episode by doing that. They have some pale rooks over there as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like Erebor is pushing in here. Quite the funky dwarven army, if I say so myself. Two dwarven units, and the rest is privateer axemen and Ravanian hunters. Quite funny, but the Privateer Axemen, man, they're a good units, effective against armor 9 at attack, 70 defense, that's a great mercenary unit. I want you to scout. Where is that last stand army? Where is it? We quite, can't quite spot it, it should be located somewhere around there maybe then. King Ukshak inside of Bersicle. Gundabad is also looking fairly weak. Well, I'm going to begin the next episode by selling forth from Eelstone, killing this army, and maybe killing this army as well in one go. And then, what we could do to try and get some kind of a battle going, uh, we could leave behind 31 of these Woodland Wardens, we could merge these guys and yeah, we could leave behind some woodland wardens behind just one unit into Eelstone and hope 
that the last stand army besieges Ealstone, and then Leoglas will act as a reinforcing army outside of the settlement. But then again, if we withdraw then, is he gonna try and withdraw back to the square of the settlement? I'm not sure. My lord. You know what, march into to that unit. Yeah, maybe we want to stand outside of the settlement and just wait for the Doomstack instead. Wait for them to attack us. But then again, then we will fall back to Illstone, and then they can attack Illstone, and that's something we desperately don't want to happen. We want to fight the Doomstack out in the open field, and when we withdraw, we want to withdraw back to Framsburg or something. Not Illstone, because we don't want the Doomstack to, to attack me straight away after we're withdrawn. My Lord. We just need to play guerrilla tactics against the Doomstack for a little while, weaken it, retreat, weaken it, retreat. That's the way I want to go forward with the Doomstack at least. Well, the episode is going to be over here, sadly. Um, I don't have any more time to record this day. But I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a week since I recorded the Woodland Realm, but now the Ardenheim and the Woodland Realm are tied in numbers of episodes. Now I can do one Ardenheim episode, and then I can do Woodland Realm, and then Ardenheim, and then Woodland Realm again. We're tied. This is episode number eight of the Woodland Realm, and the next episode of the Ardenheim will be episode eight as well. There we go. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.